हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आर बी कुशवाहा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन द डिवीजन ऑफ वेटनरी क्लिनिकल कॉम्प्लेक्स एट एफ बी एस सी एन एच स्कॉल जम्मू आर एस पुरा वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल सो कैंडली सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकॉन फॉर फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन टूडे वी हैव स्पेशल केस इन वन एंड हाफ ईयर ओल्ड हीफर सो दिस हीफर टेन डेज बैक फेल डाउन ऑन फ्लोर और ऑन अ टंकी एंड सिंस देन एनिमल इज नॉट एबल टू स्टैंड फ्रॉम द हैंड लिम सो वेन वी जम इन द हैंड लिम सो द हैंड लिम इज absolutely normal so there is no problem in the this fetlock joint hock joint this type of joint and hip joint so hip joint is normal so there is no dislocation there is no fracture so similarly so we also examine the right hind limb so right hind limb is also normal but when we examine here to so sensation there is a decreased sensation here in the this plantar surface and the deep sensation in the this tail and if you see here in the fore limb So you could see. So there is an extension of the this four limb. So this is the this pastry type of it. The animal is keeping the both four limb in the extended position. And if you see the neck is also when animal is lying, so this is the extended position. Then we suspected this case for a, a spinal cord injury, and uh, we put this animal on the lateral radiograph. On the lateral radiograph, we found that there is a compression of the probably the T. T11 vertebral body. So this is the spinal cord injury because of the wrist shape compression at the thoracic vertebral body. If you go through the this literature, so then you find that this is the typical type of shift serengeton uh, phenomena which we normally see in case of the dogs. So, so this is the shift serengeton phenomena. If you see, so there is a spastic paralysis in the this. Forelimb and the flaccid paralysis of the this hind limb. And if you see here, so there is also uh, fecal and urinary incontinence. So animal doesn't have has control over the defecation and urination. That's why there is here the urine is scaled. You could see here the hair is easily you can say detached from the skin. So this is all because of the this area is continuously wetting with the urine. so nothing can be done in this case so we advise owner for putting this animal on the anti-inflammatory analgesic and corticosteroid therapy for the few days and then keep on a cushion and then uh, we advise for the turning of the this position left and right frequently to avoid the bed so and then reward after the 7 days otherwise in this case nothing can be done this is a large animal and even we just hope that if there is somehow the anti-inflammatory analgesic if work on that inflammation which at the site of the compression so there may be chance that there may be relief and animal may stand otherwise there is a very less chance this is all about the this spinal cord injury in a heifer so this is a somewhat special case is special case in that uh, in large animal even if you get the spinal cord injury so there is very difficult to go for the radiography so here we have the support of the radiograph and that's why i felt that i should share with you people. thank you very much for watching this video